They'd finger Eddie and his tribe. They'll be our royal guests. Yeah, at the party up the South End Juno land head. Expected about 200 other freaks. Uh, Tobias, Moss, uh, Gogil, and I are putting together this party. Unforgettable Christmas. Uh, fat, yeah. Uh, this following uh, passage is from my own personal Indian journal from 37 years ago. I was 24 at the time. Well, <laughs> what's the atmosphere? Joe Bananas, uh, Chai Shop gets crowded. Somebody flips out, they have to rope him up, ship him off to the mental hospital. Early November, 1971. And from all directions, hippies, earth freaks, earth people gather from all parts of the world. Christmas in Goa. Why? Uh, well, Christmas in Goa. The greatest show on earth. Poets home, circus atmosphere, and the freest space on the planet, even more than the Haight Ashbury scene, because that uh, San Francisco scene was basically uh, a mono national American scene, whereas the Goa scene is from freaks all over. I mean, we got diplomatic. Uh, Kids running away from their parents, uh, Cubans uh, uh, disgusted with Castro's so-called revolution. If you can't smoke a joint of grass on the old boulevard of Havana, what kind of revolution is that? Yeah, young people disgusted with their homelands converging on uh, Goa Junction. Hmm. Imagine this. We're, we're in an open uh, s s scene uh, and uh, society here in India, and we are strolling stark naked on the beach in public. Naked. Sex, nudity, a pillar of the hippie revolution. We're not afraid of our bodies, sex. Go. Uh, just said hashish and boop, instant global consciousness. Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully it's a microscopic preview of like earth flag. To the cosmos, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Naked freaks drifting peacefully along Anjuna Beach. <laughs> well, personally, my typhoid fever <laughs> uh, wipeout calmed down. Massive doses of antibiotic, yeah. My battered head feels <laughs> lighter. Mm. I mean, Typhoid fever it was so bad, I had to actually take everything out of my little going house because anything I looked at gave me an intense headache. I had to put my Krishna Murti books uh, with a friend. Yeah, and uh, oh, I had a fantasy of leaving India, crossing the Arabian Sea to Mombasa, <laughs> to Africa. Yeah. Wow, what's happening up north? Yeah, India and Pakistan are going at it again. Third war over disputed Kashmir. Uh, and now, I mean, let's, let, let's fast forward just for a moment. Uh, yeah, right now, 2020. Almost at war again, only this time they've got nuclear weapons. Uh, look, the nations are so... <laughs> Arrogant and gobbling up, you know, these sacred ethnic uh, zones. Uh, just give the Kashmiris themselves the vote, what they would like to do with themselves, and they'd vote for complete independence. To hell with Pakistan and India. Oh, 
God damn it. Anyway, um, and, uh, you know, because of this war, uh, the hashish trail is cut uh, for the first time since I've been going back and forth over it. You know, four times round trip from Istanbul to India, myself. Uh, yeah, they chopped the border. They closed it down. The Afghan-Pakistan border at Torkom. And out the other end, you can't go from Pakistan to India at this time. So uh, travelers are like uh, piling up in Kabul. And uh, they cut the, the trail. They cut the sort of serpent or, or kundalini uh, energy of the hippies. But we still wiggle. Chop us in two. We don't die. <laughs> yeah. uh, somehow, go freaks are still getting through and uh, showing up. We're untamable. And we're the original Earth time. Yeah. Well, um, you know, all the players are converging here in Goa, and uh, Tobias, Go Gil, Bombay Brian, and uh, just about 50 of us through the years that kind of look over the scene. Uh, there's no external law and order, so, you know, when issues come up, we handle them ourselves. Uh, for example, David and Sherry are so compassionate, you'd find someone like... Uh, out of reality, uh, with staphylococcus, skin infections, which is easy, uh, rampant in the tropics, they come in and they might have some maggots in their sores. <laughs> well, uh, David and Sherry clean those out, patch the person up, send them back to the beach. And then there's those people that, uh, you know, distribute fake drugs and they have to be escorted about the scene. And the worst violent uh, ones, as you have just heard about in Eight Finger Eddie's Flip Out Theater, got to tie them up to coconut trees. Uh, another remedy sometimes, somebody's violently flipping out, uh, force them into kind of like a mummy sleeping bag and rope them in there so they can't move for a few hours until they get their head together a little bit. Um, well, here comes Tobias into my house. Tobias, a uh, flashy freak from London. You know, he only wears silk, uh, satin, and velvet. He's got a silver side flute, stash of cocaine, and uh, he's the Toastmaster of God. He's since passed away. Uh, well, good news from over the hill, over in Baga. Uh, a character named uh, Fred. Uh, American Fred, uh, amazing vibraphone jazz musician and just a beautiful human specimen, a uh, master of yoga and just a smooth-talking guy. Yeah, he, he talked the Jesuit priests to turn over the abandoned monastery that sits right on the uh, Kalingut Baga <laughs> landhead. And, uh, yeah, so we call a monastery Fred now, and he shelters hundreds of uh, hippies up there. And what of you? Mm. You look all down toward Baga, Colin Good, oh, all the way down to Condolum Beach. There's some boats up the shore in Vasco da Gama. You look the other way, the whole sweep of Anjuna Beach, almost all the way down to the Chabora River. Yeah. Well, hundreds of uh, junkies, flip outs. Uh, yeah, they gather for free food up at Monastery Fred's place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes Blind George. <laughs> what a heartthrob. He's not totally blind, but he's got, he, you got to be careful. He doesn't fall off cliffs. In fact, he lost his life falling off his porch in Mexico later in life. And such a heartthrob. He's got the most gorgeous hippie women around him all the time. I mean, three, four, and... Oh, yeah, we're jealous. <laughs> the rest of us? I mean, once in a while, we, <laughs> you know, <laughs> enjoy uh, sex with other hippie chicks. But George, 
He's like the gold standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we hire some uh, native uh, Anjuna Beach uh, folks to help build us this uh, bamboo party house up on the hill. Mm -hmm. Party atmosphere, streamers, balloons, uh, a row of like six little little cabanas, you know, all, all together, <laughs> like a townhouse of bamboo cabanas. Yeah. And uh, we've got a car battery up there to juice a sound machine. And we play drums, flutes, bells, tambourines, <laughs> Tibetan bells. And maximum fun ahead. Christmas in Goa, the ultimate hashish uh, trail focal place. I mean, you could be in Kabul uh, in August and uh, after smoking a big water pipe with your friends there, say, well, Christmas in Goa, see you there. And you did. Uh, people came back and had wonderful heartfelt reunions hugs all around and wow what stories we had to tell each other mm -hmm. people coming in from Ibiza Formentera through the Greek islands and uh, piling up in Goa mm -hmm. well we're thinking we may get about 200 and but at this time, as the scene is uh, mushrooming so wildly, there's probably about a thousand freaks on Anjuna Beach right now in various uh, remote <laughs> thatched huts and lava block stone huts. So, uh, party time.